Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a product training. Um, our topic today is Tycon Power Systems, and we have with us Scott Parsons, the CTO and CEO of Tycon Power Systems. They're located in Salt Lake City and were founded in 2008. And at this point, I'd like to turn over the uh, webinar to Scott Parsons and let him tell you about all of the things that go with Tycon Power. Scott? Hello and welcome. Um, we, we had a product training a little while ago, a couple few months ago actually, and uh, we've added quite a few products and so we wanted to kind of refresh everybody on the product line and um, kind of get into a little bit of uh, how you can size a system um, for your a customer and uh, or if you are a customer, how you can size a system for your own use. So. Um, with that, let's just get started. Tycon Power Systems, our, our goal is to manufacture and deliver remote power systems for telecommunications and other applications. By remote power systems, we have, we have different types of remote power systems. We have uh, backup power systems. We have backup power systems with solar panel and uh, we have systems with uh, that you can add wind power also to them. Now these systems are used for mostly in areas where there is no power or the power isn't reliable enough. And so people, they want to have their equipment up and running 24-7. So they'll use a remote power system. So we'll start with our UPS Pro products. These are, um, remote outdoor rated backup power systems. They provide uninterruptible clean power in an outdoor weatherproof enclosure. What that means is that the, the units, the electronics is running off of the battery. So uh, the, the electronics are filtered from any um, like uh, spikes or surges that are, that are present on the AC power line. So if, if somebody's operating in an area where the power is very uh, prone to surges from lightning or surges from um, just uh, all the air conditioning's turn, air conditioners turning on at the same time or, or they have a lot of outages where usually when the power comes back on after an outage you get a surge. Um, having a, a UPS system can prevent the electronics from seeing that surge. So you can protect the electronics and the electronics will be um, will live a lot longer if they're hooked up to a system like this. Now these systems, um, we say typical 24-hour backup for the smallest system. That's based on like a 4-watt radio or radio card or, uh, or an outdoor radio unit that's uh, typically about 4 watts. So it'll give you about 24 hours of backup with a single 12-volt 9-amp-hour battery. Um, this is our range of systems. All these systems, uh, they're basically, if you look at the part number, it's uh, UPS-TC. DC is a die cast enclosure. Uh, UPS-PL. PL is a polycarbonate enclosure. And then we have a 12-volt uh, battery. That's the first uh, two numbers. Then the second two numbers would be 12-volt, 18-volt, 24, 48-volt. Our controller can take a 12 volt DC and it does a DC to DC conversion to give you 12 volt output, 18 volt output, 24 volt output, or 48 volt output from a 12 volt battery. So the controller is kind of a specialized controller to, to be able to, um, to provide the typical voltages that are used by uh, customers, which is 12, 18, 24, 48 volts. And then the last number is uh, the battery uh, capacity, which is in amp hours. So we have a 9 amp hour system, an 18 amp hour system, and a 36 amp hour system. I should mention that all these UPS Pro systems are solar ready, except for the first one. Um, so all the systems are solar ready. That means that the controller is has inputs for a solar panel, so at a later date a, a customer can buy a UPS Pro system and at a later date they can make it into a solar powered system 
or they can add solar to extend their battery backup time or their run time without power. So, you know, it's it's very it's quite a flexible system. This is a typical application for the die cast enclosure. But we supply the controller on the left. We supply the the enclosure of course and the 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 bracketry, the uh, battery, and then this this board here would be what the customer would supply. So that'd be a radio card inside. And the uh, the antenna connector would be supplied by the customer. And so what this does is it um, through the charger that's supplied with the unit, um, it injects PoE power through this injector into the Cat5 cable, and you can have 300 feet of Cat5 cable between the power supply and the unit. And what it does is it keeps the battery fully charged when the power goes out. The radio board is uh, running strictly off battery power. When the power's on, the radio board's still running off the battery, but the battery's being charged through the, the charger. Uh, I should just back up. This, this typical system, uh, without the radio card and everything, I mean, with, that, with just the, the UPS Pro system, would be about $119. This is uh, the bigger system. This is a uh, typical application of a UPS Pro. What's showing there is uh, 36 amp hours worth the battery capacity. So there's four 9 amp hour batteries hooked to our controller. The uh, this is this would be like a uh, an application where you have a using one of our uh, TP SW5 switches. So the um, you have the power in, PoE power in from the AC line. You have the data out going to the switch. And then from the switch, you can run, um, say, a 24-volt PoE, a 24-volt PoE, and 18-volt uh, PoE, and a 48-volt PoE by using some of our DC to DC converters. So this is just an application of showing how a system could be put together to feed a, a bunch of different voltages to a bunch of different devices, you know, four different devices at four different voltages. So a little bit of technicalities on backup time. Just trying to keep it simple. A, a nine amp hour battery provides nine amps for one hour. So the, the amp hour means nine, you know, amps per hour. So it'll provide nine amps for one hour, or you can look at it a different way, one amp for nine hours, or a half amp for 18 hours. So one single nine amp hour battery can provide you know, 18 hours at 0.5 amps, uh, something like 24 hours at 0.4 amps, or 0.33 amps. So uh, a 36 amp hour battery will give you 36 amps for one hour or one amp for 36 hours, or uh, 72 hours at 0.5 amps. So when you're thinking of a backup time, if you know how many amps you need uh, that you're going to draw, you can quickly kind of figure out um, how many hours of run time you'll get without uh, AC power. Now, uh, backup time is directly related to load. If you know the load, you can calculate expected backup time by this formula, volts times battery capacity, so um, divided by load in watts. So if you have a 24 volt device with 8 amp, eight watt power draw, which is typical of a canopy unit, and you have a 36 amp hour battery capacity, you can get 54 hours of backup time for that canopy unit using a 36 amp hour battery. And the systems are designed to charge in about four hours. So, um, what? So, after a power outage, it'll take. You know, if the batteries go all the way down to uh, the minimum voltage, that it, it'll charge back up to full charge within about four hours. So, if if somebody has kind of uh, like sometimes you t I talk.